So this is the demo for room reservation front-end coding challenge. Uh, in the code base or as part of the question, you're going to get these mock data functions where the it's going to return you the room details and user details. We have 15 rooms and some user data where uh, the cost of the room would be would change and the credits would be assigned randomly. So now the gist is that we have to render this UI where each room is represented with this uh, graphic. It's not an image you have to create it using CSS. And uh, here we have the sidebar where you we have the username plus available credits. Now each room would have the room number, the cost and the status. It could be available. It could be not enough credits because the cost of the room is 22, but the available credits is 16. Now, if I change, uh, if I try to book this room, so it's available. If I click on it, the status changes to reserved and the available credits gets uh, decreased or deducted by the cost of the room. And here we get the reserved room. And let's say we have available credits as 14. Now this room is 14. So if I click on this, then all the rooms status changes uh, in real time because we available credits are zero and the cost is 10. So we cannot book this room. Let's say I free up this room. Uh, I click on it again and it becomes available. And now the cost uh, other rooms are available now because the remaining credits are 14. So I can let's say book this fourth. And since I click this, my available credits are 10 and we have two rooms as reserved. We can book this one. So I click on it. It changes to reserved. Now we have remaining three. So, but I cannot book anything else as of now. But if I free up some room, if I free up this and if I click on this, then I can maybe book this one or this one. So this is the challenge that you need to build. Uh, the data would be present as part of the question. Add-ons to this could be that let's say this is a cost as 22. So for right now, we are using the same graphic type or, you know, UI symbol for all the rooms. Maybe for rooms like uh, with a higher cost, you can show like a bigger table or maybe more users, more seated or maybe for cost to like a single room, uh, like a smaller room with one user kind of a thing. You can change and play around with the UI. So.